welcome to Magic Gathering Strat 2. I'm um, sorry, welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. My name is Ted, and this is Project Rixis version 4. I'm um, in the two man queues, I lost the die roll. So, not off to an auspicious start, but we'll see what happens. So, double blightning is usually not a good start. Uh, falls, grave. <coughs> Pyromancer. I have no idea what I'm playing. I think this is a mulligan with no cantrips, no, uh, yeah, me mulligan. And this is not much better at all. But I don't want to mulligan down to five. We'll keep. Maybe at first hand was keepable, but we'll see. Playing Amaryllis Jr. Amaryllis? Amaryllis. Misty Rainforest, okay. So I think I play the Delta fetching a watery grave. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense with the two bolts, but I have money I have more red sources than I do black sources, so I think the grave is okay. And I'll serum visions. Meyer and Esteem Vents. Well, that would be a very slow start. But I think I definitely want the Meyer. And I could you No, I think I want the Meyer and I will bottom the Steam Vent. Yeah. have an island already so I think with the the three lands it should be okay. And let's see, fetches a breeding pool, so and a steam vents. Search your library for a basic land, put that card onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. I think this is scape shift, right? Okay. Now, I've had bad experience with scape shift in the past. you watched my previous video, you know that to be true. Totally lost. So, let's see. I think I'll play the island and keep up Mali just in case and pass the turn. I hate not doing nothing. Not doing anything, rather. But, um... My opponent does nothing either. So, I could play the Mire, but I think the Sulphur Falls is... No, I think I play the Mire and thin my deck further. Fetching the Blood Crypt. Another Tribe Elder. Maybe I'm wrong. 
wrong. Maybe this is not. No, yeah, this makes sense because he's going to fetch out his non mountain lands and then uh, scape shift, right? So. So, mana light might, might not be. I mean, I know what Scape Shift's win condition is, but I just, I don't know how to play against it well. So, I think I play the Falls and the Delver. And pass the turn. And I think my bolts are pretty useless against him. I don't, I don't remember if he plays any relevant creatures. He's considering whether to counterspell him. That would be fine. Replicate target permanent. Hmm. That's a um, interesting thing. But I still think I want to mana leak the. Let's see. Do I try to mana leak the scape shift? Maybe he's just going to have enough. One, two, three, four, five. This will give him six. I think I, I think I let it happen. See if I can loot for another counter spell to have a backup. Is it charming my Delver? Okay. Then I'll bolt him again. Can't mail you get so okay. I will loot. I will try and loot for another counter spell. mana to deprive if I have to, so we'll just guard this thing that it's fine. Maybe the terminate would have been better, but I don't think I should be concerned about anything. Stubborn now. Well, that's good.
draw two cards, then discard two. I think it's okay. I think I just want to stop the escape shift. He needs seven lands, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's Valakut. And here comes escape shift. So I believe I met leak. And Yay, a victory against Cape Shift. Jesus. Alright. <clears throat> so I think Deprive is okay. I have no way of destroying his lands, but Is It Charm is another counter spell that might be okay. I don't think I need the Charm or any of these spells. The Lynx might be good. What do I... Am I playing the right thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think I get rid of the Spell Bomb and a Terminate. And maybe I bring in the Vampiric Link. Um, to make it more difficult for him to go off. Duress could be okay. I can duress out his... Uh... So then what isn't good? I don't think the spell is good. Well, no, I think the terminates go out. Fork Bolt might be, be great. It's two more damage, but... I think I keep the Miserly Dispel and take out the Electrolyze and we'll submit. Maybe that's totally wrong. I do have a feeling that going to the face with my bolts is the right move and not worrying about the tribe elders unless he's maybe maybe not all right so let's see what we got dispel a mana leak okay whatever duress and two serum visions and a steam vent <sighs> i'm on the play all right well i can maybe set up my draws with my serum visions and possibly duress on turn two if I can get a black source. So we'll keep. And he keeps his hand. Forced. Search for tomorrow. Two time counters on it. So let's. Let's keep that in mind. And that's for one basic land. Thoughts go. So the question is well, yes, I want to play the two. The question is do I Thoughts go or Serum Visions? I think a serum visions. Lighthouse and probe, but I got a blood crypt. Okay, so I think the lighthouse I put on the bottom. The probe will get me another card, so that's okay to draw. Played the land, so I have to pass my turn. Should be a little careful though about my life total. So 
the search for tomorrow goes down to one. Try Builder. And well, the bad thing is now I can't uh, I can't mana leak that correct because it's gonna be on his upkeep. He'll have three lands, so okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to probe. Traveler and double is it charm in a mountain. So let's see. Elder Charm Charm Mountain. Okay. And the probe brings me another thought scour. So I think I play the crypt and Take away his elder. No, I can't take away the elder. Take away one of the charms. Or just thoughts go. Oh. Yeah. Alright, we'll duress for charm. And then we will pass the turn. Or should I Serum Visions? No, I think I do Serum Visions. I'll do it on my next main phase. Taking an abnormally long time. Maybe he has. Um, maybe he has um, disconnected. I hope not. I really like to get a victory against Scape Shift. It's kind of like a personal goal, achievement, whatever you want to call it. I think I bottom the swamp and I keep the island. Bottom. Top. So he's going to search for tomorrow. a mountain and an elder play my island and I keep up mana leak and stubborn not this might not be very good unless I have the angler One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I do drop the angler. No. If I play the angler, I tap out. Then the turn after, my stubborn and owl becomes a negate. Or I can just pass a turn. He has the charm, so negate. I think I play the angler. Maybe that's a mistake.
Maybe I should have thought scouted instead of serum visioning. Elder. He's gonna block and sack. Unless I force him to sack now. Let's go on the uh, all out blitz plan. He remands the bolt. But he doesn't know I have stubborn denial, so maybe it's okay to bolt again. So I think he's thinking that I have something like the spell pierce. or a mana leak and or a mana leak and doesn't know that I have stubborn denial hmm one two three four five six seven so he must be looking for his um, escape shift. And this is my end step. <laughs> I think the right play is to dispel this. If you draw escape shift right, right off the top, all right, well. So be it. He charms. So he's digging for his escape shift that's for certain yep there's escape shift okay so he would have found it with you know oh that's game over All right. So I think we keep the deck the way it is, right? There's nothing. Running volume does me no good. None of these cards do me any good. Electrolyze over blightning, maybe? No, I think I'd rather have the blightning. Yes. Well, speaking of lightning, I don't think this is keepable. 
I could fetch for a watery grave. I like having the mana leak, but maybe getting that angler out early is is more important. All right, I'll gamble and keep. He's deciding what I'm on. He keeps Blood Crypt. Yep. Praying pool. Okay, so my angler plan might be a little not too good. Oh, I didn't, uh, that's no, okay. <clears throat> Actually, that worked out well, because I was going to... I was going to fetch for the watery grave, and now I think I want the steam vent. Sure. This is going to be tedious. Or maybe the Blood Crypt would be better. No, I think the Steam Vents. It's still the Steam Vents. Yes. Now I just have to get myself a Black Source as quickly as possible. So much for the arm answer. Sure. And a bolt. <clears throat> Hmm. He's searching up his lands. He might have scape shift already. But I don't think that saving the mana leak for the scape shift is going to work out anyway, so. Okay. 
really could use a black source now. And the question is, if I get the black source, do I blinding or do I angler? Well, regardless, I thought scatter now. Serum visions. Okay. Well, there was one of my black sources. And other serum visions. Let's bottom, top, and is a charm, all right? And then Serum Vision's my Delver. And that was just Blood Crypt. All right, I think I put the Delver on top, and then the Blood Crypt on top of that. And now... I know my Delver's not gonna flip, that's fine. is a problem. It's a problem and a half. And that's a creature spell. Okay. Angler. And then let's see. So then now I can either double block and split them up. And then angler the next turn to take care of one of them, right? Of the life linker. And I have my other delver coming. And then I could chump the death touch and is it charm it? I think that will work. But this is looming on me. Escape shift is looming. No, I can't play the Delver yet, right? No. So I'm going to take six next turn, but that's alright, because now I'm going to Lightning him. No, I just wait and take care of the Life Linker. No, the Death Touch. And then take care of that with that. Alright. Right, 
right, so now next turn when he attacks, assuming that he doesn't scape shift me into oblivion, <clears throat> I block the death touch with the Delver. Is it charm it to get rid of it? Take the three. He goes to 21. Then I'll have enough to play the angler to take care, block the life linker. Right. Anticipate. Well, I guess I have no choice but to let him do that. Because if not, these guys are going to kill me real fast. He might have a remand or... Or even a cryptic or whatever. Yep. Alright, well so much for that. Obstinate Payloft. Gain for life. That guy's not a lot of fun. Fourth bolt. Hmm. Three, and that gives me two more here, but not enough. And I'm going to be taking 14 other, no, 10 otherwise. I think I just play the angler and take these and then try to get rid of them the next turn, right? He replicates. No, oh, rather he. What is it? Giga Drows. Okay. Just as bad. So we're going to lose the scape shift, to say the least. Probe. Hmm. What could I draw? I don't think there's anything that I could draw, but we'll try. I wasn't expecting 
Mercy. So, pretty much no chance, because he can use a Charm Away spell, he can snap cast to remand a spell. Okay. A stubborn denial. Nope. Uh, let's see. Two damage to dark creature. Just playing it out um, to the bitter end, but really, there's no, there's nothing that I can do. <laughs> okay, now he's taking an abnormally amount. Now he know has no idea what is going on. He's probably screaming at his screen, Dude, you lost! Maybe he disconnected. <laughs> Alright, well, if he disconnected and he's not coming back, uh, thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, uh, please hit the like button. I did win one versus Scape Shift. Um, didn't expect the worm coil out of him, but, you know, I guess it is what it is. And if he doesn't come back, then I'll just uh, stop and I believe this is in the two-man queue, so this is for, or was this in the, I'm just going to pause the video and if he comes back then I'll restart it, so not to take up too much more time. Okay, we're back. Um, he decides to fetch. Sure. Don't know what was going on with him. He did not disconnect. To the best of my knowledge. Nope. He didn't disconnect. Maybe he's playing... So he uses the charms back. Okay. No. And I'll fork bolt him then. Sure, why not? Well, thanks for watching, and I'll bring you another video soon. Bye bye Please hit the like button if you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web, MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize-supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash magicgatheringstrat.